Your WNEM TV 5 News Update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Elise Ramey. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. The start of the trial for the parents of the Oxford school shooter, James and Jennifer Crumbly. Prosecutors say new evidence shows they knew about their son Ethan's poor mental health when they bought him a gun. James and Jennifer are charged with involuntary manslaughter. In court filings, Jennifer told law enforcement she didn't know much about Ethan Crumbly's mental state leading up to the shooting, but prosecutors say she expressed concern to her husband husband in Facebook messages about Ethan's drawings. The Crumbleys have pleaded not guilty. That trial set to start at 830 this morning. Many students in Burton's Bentley Community Schools can expect to see an officer when they arrive at school today. It's the result of a social media threat that has since been taken down. Superintendent Christy Spann notifying the Genesee County community in a letter to parents saying the threat originated with weekend posts on Instagram about students, teens and teachers. Police are working to identify the person who made the posts. Dort Financial Credit Union officials at Genesis Conference and Banquet Center in Grand Blank to donate more than $19,000 to the Food Bank of Eastern Michigan and the Care House of Oakland County. The Food Bank says the money is expected to make a huge difference. Each organization will receive just over $9,000 each. And now here's Matthew with a check of the forecast. Thank you, Elise. We are starting off with some foggy conditions up north on this Tuesday and also just wet roadways for everybody from that rain and that moved through on Monday. So those visibilities up north have been reported to be under one mile and even some of that possibly freezing to some of the dirt roads and back roads up there too. That has led to some school closings and delays this Tuesday morning. High temperatures for today all above freezing though, so eventually any ice that forms will be melting, but we'll still continue with some scattered rain showers all the way through today. And that eventually comes to an end by around midnight then into your Wednesday a dry weather expected at least no rain falling but the clouds those will still be holding on for your Wednesday. Now as far as our Thursday goes with that another storm system moving in I'm still looking to start off with some snow and wintry mix in the morning that eventually lifts north throughout the daytime and eventually seeing some rainfall moving in on the backside of that snowfall too. So all something that we're watching for your Thursday I still have seen some variability but as we're able to uh, find uh, finely tune things more towards Thursday will be the first to let you know about that. But by the end of the week, we are expecting highs around 33 to 34 degrees, so a little bit cooler uh, by the end of this week. But Thursday, that's the day to really pay attention to in the seven-day forecast. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.